Hey everybody, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Penners. Quick update on our winter weather heading our way. You can see it's all rain east of the mountains, but a pretty good snow going on in the North Carolina mountains, especially above about 2,000 feet right now. Big time snows way down deep in the south too, by the way. Heavy snow in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, northern Georgia, and the North Carolina mountains. But we haven't seen anything east of the mountains yet except for rain and sleet mixing in. The reason why temperatures, at least at the boundary layer, we call it the surface at the ground, are still pretty warm. We've got a lot of low 40s and upper 30s. Um, and now that the sun is up, we're likely not going to see a changeover in the Piedmont until later tonight. Just to give you a quick update, winter weather advisory has been expanded all of Interstate 40 corridor into the Triad area. That does include Hickory, Statesville, Salisbury, Taylorsville, Morganton, Lenore, Shelby, Boone. These are the areas I expect a more significant accumulation. And just to show you my updated map, that's the area I'm watching for, at least one to two, but there will be pockets of two to four inches in there. Again, kind of like thunderstorms, the bands set up in there, there could be some isolated pockets. Even there, a lot of this is going to be on the grass and elevated surfaces until late, late tonight when temperatures drop closer to freezing up there. So most of the snow that you're seeing is a pretty wet, heavy snow. It's sticking to tree branches, sticking to elevated stuff, um, grass, trees, that kind of thing. It's having a tough time on making it down to the ground and getting stuck to like concrete and cement. That might happen later tonight as temperatures cool. Here's our short range models. You can see staying mostly rain. We're going to go into the afternoon hours. Uh, the snow is confined to the mountains, that rain snow line um, as we go through the afternoon. This is about four o'clock. You could see we're starting to see some heavy precip movement to Charlotte. If that's the case, that would cool the surface layer down and allow for a changeover. I think after five o'clock, is going to be our time to see a mix and you can see here this is about five o'clock you can notice still snowing in the mountains but we're starting to see that mix across the charlotte area this is after sunset so piedmont areas after sunset um this is six o'clock and then seven o'clock eight o'clock nine o'clock ten o'clock eleven o'clock so the mixture is more likely overnight even here temperatures stay above freezing so um, we're not looking at big time accumulations on the road surfaces again. This is mainly going to be on grassy surfaces. I'll show you the snow depth from the model, and this accounts for some melting. You can see the heaviest amounts will be in the mountains and foothills in here, but there could be a little spoke down here into the Charlotte area. But that's the general line. You can kind of see the way it's setting up um, later tonight. I showed this earlier on my Facebook page. Wet bulb temperatures, key. This is the temperature if you cool the air down to with water. Basically, you would get these temperatures. So think about this as in the summer when you got those misters that try to cool the patios down. Um, this is happening in Mother Nature, but the rain falling into the air mass is cooling it down. When they get closer to the low 30s, like we see where the snow is falling back in here, that's uh, those are dew, or, excuse me, wet bulb temperatures closer to the, the low 30s around the freezing mark. Where dew points are in the 40s, you're not going to get snow. As those fall closer to the freezing mark, that's when we'll see a changeover. So that'll be something we watch um, as we go into the evening hours, we will see the potential that we're going to see that changeover. You see where those those uh, wet bulb temperatures are in the 30s. That's where we have the winter storm watches and excuse me, winter storm warnings and winter weather advisory. So that's a really good correlation to watch as we go through the day. So here's a quick look again at the radar. I'll loop this a couple of times. Again, no road issues right now during the day east of the mountains. It's tonight after sunset where things could get a little slick. And of course, I'll have you covered. Throughout the day, I'll be on. You can check me on Facebook, Twitter, wherever you want. Make sure you look me up as we get closer to this evening when the snow moves in.